Hello. Good evening, teacher. Hi, good evening. How are How you, are everybody? You? I'm good. <laughs> How are you? I, I, I am good, too. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> That's pretty good. Hello, good evening. Hi, good evening, Rafael. How are you? Fine, thank you. And you? I'm very good. I'm pretty good. It's Tuesday already, so we're almost yes. hitting Friday. <laughs> <laughs> we're waiting. Yeah, we are. <laughs> Definitely we are. <laughs> Hi, Vanya. Good evening. Hi, teacher. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine. Thank Great. you. Very good. Alexander, good evening. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Uh, I'm cold. <laughs> yeah, I see. You have a jacket now. <laughs> yes, I'm drinking mi milk. Oh. <laughs> have, you, have you drink coffee already? Uh, I, I, I drank coffee in the afternoon, but now I am drinking milk. Oh, okay. <laughs> Warm milk. Yes. All right. Maybe you need a tequila. Yeah, ah, definitely. <laughs> I I, de definitely, yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's the best. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Uh, sometimes I drink chaparro a little. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's even even better. <laughs> it's hard. It's hard. <laughs> yeah, that's harder. It's only for adults. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Hi, Irving. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Very good, teacher. Nice. Thanks for asking. Very good. That's nice to hear. Hi, Dagoberto. Good evening. I think you're on mute. Hi, how are you? Very good. How are you? Good, good. Uh, very tired. Tired, right? Night. Yeah, I know. And it's and it's Tuesday, so <laughs> we're I still missing that, some days. I hope uh, the Friday. Yeah, we are waiting for Friday, but it's almost Christmas. Huh? So we, it's almost Christmas. Are you going uh, to have vacations on Christmas? Uh, yes, uh, one week. Okay, that's cool. What about the rest? Do you have vacations on Christmas or not? No, uh, in my case, I don't have vacation. Uh, only uh, 25, I think. Okay. Uh, uh -huh. uh, um, the first... January the, the first. January the first. Okay. Okay. All right. That's cool. Yeah, I guess that most of us we don't have vacations and on those holidays, but uh, Christmas coming. So Christmas good. I like Christmas. So <laughs> all right. Me too. You like Christmas too, right? Yes. You have the tree already. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Christmas is very good. I really like it. But the tree is for your kids or or for you? <laughs> for me. <laughs> ah, okay. I had a good remember. Yeah. Yes. Memories. 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 A lot of memories. memories. Right. But, yeah. Memories. But That's... I I have to work a lot in Christmas. You do? Yes. You yeah. make a lot of chickens. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, actually, in, in that season, the I, I believe that there's a lot of, like, um, asking for, for chicken and, like, for for the for the Christmas uh, evening, you have, like, a lot of pedidos, right? Mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah. All right. That's good. But, but he has uh, more money. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. <laughs> he gets more, so that's good as well. So very good. So let's start 
with the with our this is our uh, fifth class if I'm not mistaken. So I want to I want to ask something to Rafael. Yes, go ahead. Yeah, Rafael, yes. uh, you prepare uh, uh, for that uh, specific occasion for Christmas. Mm -hmm. You prepare um, a specific uh, salsa. I don't know how to say salsa. Sauce. 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 Sauce for the no chicken, but it's uh, for the uh, turkey. I prefer the tradition sauce for Christmas. No, but you prefer in the in the pollo real. You prefer the the sauce, specific sauce for for example, if someone want to want to uh, uh, buy a sauce for the for the turkey or for the chicken. Um. I don't understand the question. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like if you do the the sauce for the for Christmas, I think that's the question. Uh -huh. uh, yes, yeah. yes, yes. We do the sauce for uh, for traditional uh, sauce mm -hmm. uh, uh, for the chicken and turkey. Ah, uh, okay. That's yeah. good. Mm -hmm. Okay. No, right. I didn't. I did. I didn't know that that you prefer the sauce for the turkey. And right now, okay. Yes. Okay. Very good. <laughs> We're gonna make some deliveries there. We're gonna be asking to Rafael, hey, five chickens, please, for Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, uh, welcome everybody to uh, this intermediate class. Uh, the, I think this is our fifth class, right? Do you remember? Yeah. Yes, our fifth class, right? What are four? No, four. No, four. four. Yes, this is our fourth class. Um, so just wanna make some reminders today, uh, November the 9th, you, sh you should have completed the, the two sections of the platform. Uh, section one and section two. Uh, I think there was um, a glitch or an issue with uh, uh, Yolanda reported uh, there was for exercise 1.10, if I'm not mistaken. So the conversation. Exactly. So I have already reported uh, to the administration. Uh, they said they will look for it and see if how they can fix it. So in the meantime, you can move on to the other, to the exercises. Si se encuentra con un issue con ese ejercicio, creo que es ejercicio 1.10, eh, que creo que es una, un audio y a la par creo que aparece. Oh, no, no. no, teacher, uh, this is the, the midterm exam, I think. Oh, okay. Uh, and there's a, the exercise uh, that uh, may, uh, I, I don't know, uh, is missing the information uh -huh. for two exercises. Number one and number two. And number two. But I I I didn't uh, finish the 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 report because okay. I, I don't have it. Yes, and 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 that's what I reported to to the administration. They told me that they're gonna look for it and to see how they can fix it. So yo les aviso una vez ya esté fixed, so you can complete it. So besides that, do you have any questions so far with the platform? Any questions on any exercise? No? No for the moment. Okay, very good. Teacher. Yes? Uh, I have a question. Um, yes? Now the, ahora no hay un libro para descargar. Um, no. Well, actually, they didn't provide it with one. No me, no me dieron ningún, ningún libro más que solo el, el material del, de la no, plataforma. No, bueno, en, siempre ha habido un, un, un libro para descargar. Y hoy estoy viendo que no hay. No, in our case, no. Uh -huh. uh, But, never. I think it's in a different uh, type of curse. Like in the, I don't know if it's an Insaforp. Uh, curse. I think that's yes. the one. 
this is the INSA for course. Uh -huh. And we are uh, in this course. Uh, you haven't had a... the the number one the 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 basic the, number one in the beginning. Huh? <laughs> yes. Uh -huh. And never they gave us a book. Never. Never. Okay. Only the platform. Only the platform, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. And you can access the platform to the uh, last courses. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, so so far, there is no no book. Um, we have been providing like a different type of resources, um, like the books that I provided at the beginning. I gave you the last time the 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 playlist, so you can see the videos as well with the previous classes. So you can check if there's something that you didn't have, like everything clear, so you can check on that. And remember that you can also text me on WhatsApp and I'll be more than happy to help you with any question that you may have, okay? All right, so let's start then. So you remember yesterday we saw uh, like almost at the beginning, I'm sorry, at the uh, ending of the class, uh, we talk about problems and we express them with quantity expressions. Do you remember those expressions that we saw yesterday? Can you give me some? Countable nouns. And exactly, countables and uncountable nouns. Can you give me an example of a countable noun? Uh, for example, a pen, computer, simple. Okay, Animal. very good. Yeah, that's fine. Good. What about non-countable nouns? Sugar. I'm sorry? Milk. Sugar. Sugar. Sugar, mm -hmm. milk, meat. Water. Water. Oxygen. Oxygen. Rice. Oxygen, rice. Traffic. 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 What was it? Rain. Uh, Rain. Rain, fruit, uh, fruit, coffee, coffee, juice. juice. Excellent. Rice, rice. Mm. Excellent. So those are uncountable nouns. Mm. And we saw some expressions as well that we can use. Uh, we said it to express problems. Do you remember one? Yes. For countable nouns, to uh -huh. many. Fewer, more, and enough. Very good. And for uncountable nouns? Too much, Too much. less, mm -hmm. more, more, and enough. And enough. Very good. So let's talk about, about problems. That was like kind of a homework uh, I told you yesterday. So can you tell me uh, at least two problems that you can identify in your neighborhood, in the, in your city, or in the country? Only two. Yes, only, <laughs> just two. <laughs> there is too much crime. There we need is. Food. Okay, there is too much crime. Very good. We need more schools. We need more. Schools. Schools. We need more schools. Very good. Excellent, Sophie. We have too much. I know. <laughs> Teacher, and because there are too many. There aren't enough doctors. Okay. Yes. There aren't enough. Un negativo. There aren't. Enough. Okay. There aren't enough. Mm -hmm. Negativo. Yeah. Okay, very yeah. good. And in the case of uh, people uh, that disappear, uh, is there are too many uh, disappeared person or what? Missing people. Missing people uh, mm -hmm. is is in, in non countable, non countable. Uh, is or too much or too many? No, it should be too many. So it's too a countable. Many. Yes, because we can okay. count. Uh, People. people actually, it's a, a, a plural noun. So there are too many missing people. Mm -hmm. Very good. 
One, one more. Have too many, uh, have too I, many I wrote. I'm sorry? sorry. We have too many bars in San Salvador. We have too many bars. Uh -huh. Bars like for drinking? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We have too many bars in San Salvador. Okay. Very good. Is this a problem? <laughs> yeah, a big problem. There are a lot of garbage. Okay, there are a lot of garbage. Garbage, is it countable or uncountable? What do you think? Uncount uncountable. Uncountable. So, how should be the, the sentence? Much, much garbage. There is? There is a lot. There is much, much. garbage. Too much. Too much. Uh -huh. There is too much garbage. Garbage. Very good. Excellent. That's correct. There is too much garbage. Teacher. Yes. For example, there is too much pollution. There is too much pollution. Excellent. That's correct. Very good. Let's see, Crisia. The street. There are a lot of hollow. There are? Hollow. Oils. <laughs> oh, oils, you said. Yes. Oh, okay. Let me look for it. Do you know how to say uh, oil? Hello. Or, or bache? Mm -hmm. How do you say mm -hmm. bache in English? Do you know? Hollow? Hollow? Yeah. Oil. Old? Okay. <laughs> So, what do you say hoyo in English? Hole. 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 Yes. Okay. So, hole, is it countable or uncountable? Yes. Countable. It's countable. Exactly. So, there are? There are the too many holes. In the street. Yes. Very good. Great. And bache is bump, according to the dictionary bump e it's like uh like the le tumulo. Tumulo. Oh, okay mm -hmm. sure. uh, yes my example is uh, that there is too much noise in this city okay there is too much noise in this city, in this city. Yes. yes excellent good uh dagoberto Uh, the, there is uh, too much. Como digo, se me fue. se me fue. Ah? No, para eh, con nubes no es contable. Uh, uh, cloud. No, there is uh, too much uh, clouds in this on in the sky. In the sky. In the sky. Okay, so is it cloud countable or uncountable? What do you think? Uh, what do you think? Cloud, the clouds are countable or uncountable? Countable. Yes, they are okay. countable. So how should be the, the sentence? There is or there are? There are too many there, there are. clouds in the sky. Exactly. There are too many clouds in the sky. Excellent. Very good. So great job uh, for the uncountable and countable nouns and using also the expression. So you see, that's the way we can uh, express issues. We can express problems that are in the city, that are in our house, that are in your job, whatever. You can use those expressions to say, either too many, too much, enough, more, fewer, less. And those expressions are gonna help you to um, provide those um, examples or those expressions uh, expressing, by the way, the, any problems.
So do you have any questions so far with that? Nope. Okay. So uh, let's do something right now. We're gonna, um, as we always start, we're gonna start with groups again. We're gonna do um, a speaking activity right now. Uh, as we all do in, in these classes, uh, please make sure to speak as much as you can. Uh, it's gonna be very simple. So uh, this, this game, let's call it game, it's called fortunately and unfortunately. So it will go this way. Uh, I'm gonna give you an scenario. And then what you are gonna be doing is that you will be saying sentences with unfortunately and fortunately. And let me give you an example. And we have here the scenario. The scenario is Amanda went to the Bicentenario Park to ride her bike. That's the, the scenario that you have to, to, to see in your head. Amanda went to the Bicentenario Park to ride her bicycle or her bike. Then after that sentence, we're gonna make groups and you're gonna be like passing one and one and one. And you will be adding information to that scenario using unfortunately and fortunately. So, for example, you're going to say, Amanda went to the Bicentenario Park to ride her bike. Unfortunately, she broke her ankle when she was biking. And then the other person would say, but fortunately, there was a person in the Bicentenario Park that helped her in that situation. Unfortunately, that person didn't have a cell phone to call and, and call the, the ambulance. Fortunately, and so on and so on. So did you get the idea? What are you going to do? Yes? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes, teacher. Fortunately, okay. yes. Fortunately, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Great, so you got it. You got the idea. So let me make the groups right now. As soon as you get in groups, start, one person starts saying, Amanda went to the Bicentenario Park, blah, blah, blah. And you start fortunately, unfortunately, and make the biggest uh, story that you have ever done in the world. All right. So let's make here the groups, make this mount. All right. So there it is. Now, please. Let me stop here. Okay, so now please click in the join button bottom and join to the meetings, all right? Remember, fortunately and unfortunately. So join to the meetings, join to the meetings, join to the rooms, join to the rooms. Unfortunately, she got an accident. Mm -hmm. um, after that, fortunately, uh, Uh, there was a, a friend, there was a friend to help her. Uh, 
there was a friend to help her. What else? Mm -hmm. Um but unfortunately they didn't have a cell phone uh -huh. then Anessa what happened next Unfortunately, he don't have a... Uh, Didn't. Uh, uh, Unfortunately, hi. she didn't. <laughs> Unfortunately, he didn't have uh -huh. a cell, cell phone number. Okay. To emergency. Okay, so she didn't have an emergency number. She didn't have, a, yes, an emergency, emerg please. Emergency number or emergency. Emergency number. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay. Excellent. So keep practicing, keep moving forward, doing the fortunately and unfortunately. Then fortunately, the policeman um, how do you say iba pasando uh, was passing by was passing by uh -huh. okay then the policeman was passing by okay very good unfortunately there was uh, too much traffic very good <laughs> Nice. Uh, uh, <laughs> help me. <laughs> Fortunately, the policeman was passing. Passing by. Passing by. Passing by. Mm -hmm. Only that. Passing by. Yeah. She was and like. And after after that, uh, Irving said. Uh, unfortunately, there was too much traffic. Mm -hmm. Very good. Great job. Keep doing it. There was her friend is a doctor. Her friend is a doctor. But they didn't have a how do you say botiquin? Uh, emergency aid. Emergency aid. Aid kit. Mm -hmm. But is but unfortunately. Yeah. But didn't have. Unfortunately. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately. Maybe. But fortunately, uh, he had a cell phone and Uh, he had a cell phone. Yes. And, and, he, to the <laughs> and he called. Unfortunately, the ambulance come, came late. Uh, due to uh, an accident. Okay, very good. Unfortunately, I don't use. Fortunately, the dog uh, does didn't have a I don't know rabia. <laughs> Let's see, Rabia. Vacune, no sé cómo se dice vacunado. Vaccinated. But uh, I think. Uh, 
vaccinated. Fortunately, the the dog is vaccinated. Was. Sí. Fortunately, the dog was. was ah, okay, was. Was vaccinated. Ah, okay, mm -hmm. vaccinated. Fortunately, the dog was. Ah, okay. This word, please. Vaccinated. Yeah. Yes, is V as in Victor, A, C, C as in cat, I, N, A, T, E, D. Vaccinated. It's, uh, it will spell it in no. Spanish, vaccinated. Uh, vaccinated. Vaccinated. Okay. Mm -hmm. Vaccinated. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay. So, Fortunately, uh, the dog was a uh, chihuahua. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. So keep okay. practicing. Okay. Amanda. I don't know how do you say that. Okay. Uh, so in you, Francisco, you have another opinion about mm, my opinion, Amanda uh, went to the park uh, centenario. Yeah. She has an accident. So unfortunately. Unfortunately, she has an accident. She had. The uh, past, uh, yes. She had? An accident. Uh -huh. Very uh, good. Fortunately, she uh, has a, a cell phone. Okay, she had? She had a cell phone. Okay, very good. What happened next, Mauricio? Uh, she had a cell phone. Okay. But uh, okay, she has a, a cell phone, but the problem was she don't. Um, unfortunately, she she don't have didn't or she didn't have she didn't have a a a, a battery. A battery. Okay, she didn't have battery. She didn't have battery. Okay. Sorry. Very good. But fortunately, but fortunately for her, some. So one of her friends okay. had a phone. Very good. What happened to next with you? Help. Great. What happened next, Sophia? Fortunately, Amanda went to the hospital and the doc the doctors helped to Okay, the doctor helped to Amanda. Help her. Help. Help her. Very Amanda. good. And then what happened, Francisco? Then uh, fortunately she 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 was uh what do you say recuperada? Healed. She was healed. Okay. She, she was very good nice so keep the story and i will go to another group right now so keep practicing the story okay well we will continue to, okay. to with the line for example for example uh, the well but unfortunately for amanda the doctor give her a bad a bad diagnostic very good. <laughs> huh? Yeah, that's good. That's good. So keep the story in that. Great. Yeah. Uh -huh. About diagnostic. So the okay. Let's finish. <laughs> <laughs> so what happened to Amanda? Amanda. Uh -huh. Oh, poor Amanda. Poor Amanda. <laughs> Yes, when Amanda. when Amanda went to the Bicentario Park mm -hmm. to ride her bike. Okay. Unfortunately, 
when she was when she was looking for her boyfriend, uh -huh. someone <laughs> stopped her and wow. stole her bike. Oh my God! <laughs> yes, but um, yes. fortunately, uh, there there was or oh, there is there there was a police station near okay, okay nearby oh okay and the police catch uh huh catched catch ladron the thief the thief, the thief. catch the thief okay yes and continue when Amanda finished her, your exercise, her, uh, her ex exercise, her, her, her exercise, uh -huh. um, she, she bought, she bought a frozen. She bought. <laughs> she bought a frozen. Okay, she bought and, a frozen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> For, um, unfortunately, unfortunately, uh, unfortunately, uh -huh. uh, when when Amanda uh, buying running the buy, what's uh, running? What's the running? The uh -huh. buy. Uh, she fell down and her broke your lap. Okay, and she broke. She broke. Her, her, left. her left. Wow. <laughs> Poor Amanda. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a very unlucky person. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Very good. It's so great both. job. Uh, keep practicing. I'm going to move to the last group and then we're going to come back. Okay. 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 Thank you. Sure. Sure. So, what happened to Amanda? Uh, a lot of things. Uh, Ooh, Amanda. She found money. And I'm sorry? She has a deflate a tire. Okay, she had a flat tire. Oh, sorry. And they found oh. a Robert. <laughs> they, they find what? A Robert, like a thief. Oh, a thief. Okay, okay. A thief. Uh, uh -huh. and uh, let me think. Dagoberto has has more uh, things. Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> I forget. I, I forgot. Old. I forgot. Sorry. <laughs> okay. No worry. That's fine. So what happened, Dagoberto? Fortunately, she has. Uh, she has. No, she had. She had. She had uh, twenty dollars. Oh, that's good. Uh, unfortunately. The, como digo, billete. Bills. The, the, the bill was fake. Oh, that's bad. <laughs> um, fortunately, his cousin. Uh, her cousin. Her, her cousin throws a. No me acuerdo cómo dijimos llanto de repuesto. Repair tire. Repair. No, no la reparó, sino que te bajó. Pero sí puede ser, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Repair tire. Eh, unfortunately, she... So, I found it. It's a spare tire. ¿Cómo es? A spare tire. It's S-P-A. P-A. Ajá. R E, spare, spare tire. Okay. Uh, she... Unfortunately, she found a policeman too. Okay. Very good. So that's nice. Great job. So we're gonna come back to the main uh, meeting. So we're gonna continue with the uh, class, but great job, good story. 
Thank you. <laughs> sure. So let me go back. Uh, let's see. Uh -uh. All right. I'm sorry, I was speaking on mute. <laughs> so thank you very much. Uh, great job with the stories. So poor Amanda, it happens a lot of things to her. So I'm very sorry for her. Poor, poor Amanda. So uh, great job. Uh, I seem that you are using uh, the simple past and that's actually my purpose for this activity. So you can continue practicing the simple past. The simple past is a, sent a tense that you need to be practicing so you can get all those verbs in your head. So you're doing great. So good job on that. So let's go now back to the class. The topic for today, it's not gonna be so complicated. It's gonna be kind of easy. And let me show you here. Mm -mm, let me see. Can you see my screen now? Yes, sir. yes. Okay, very good. So what we're going to see today, it's an indirect question. So indirect questions are uh, the opposite from the direct questions. A direct question, it's for example, when you say, um, where were you? Or what's your name? Or where is that place? or whenever information you ask, a direct question is a simple question. So an indirect question, it's a way to say it in a polite way. Do you know what is polite? Yes. Yes. Okay. okay. Um, exactly. So an indirect question is for that, to make a question, but in a polite way. And we have an example here. Excuse me, could you tell me where the nearest station is. Certainly, it's along that road on the right. Thank you. And do you know if there's a supermarket near here? Yes, there's one next to the station. Thank you very much for your help. So the indirect questions, uh, as we said, we use indirect questions when we are asking for help in the street uh, because they are very polite indirect questions. So we use indirect questions simply to make the question, but more polite. And the indirect questions start with phrases like, could you tell me, or do you know, or can you tell me? And we have an example here. A direct question is, where is the bank? An indirect question will be, could you tell me where is the bank? So it's like when you are in the street. Uh, no. Teacher. Yep. But you say, could you tell me where the bank is? No, where is the bank? It's the same. That's the thing. The indirect uh -huh. question, mm -hmm. it makes uh, like an opposite part in the question. So uh, I'm going to explain it like, like this. Uh, we have this, the, the, the direct question. And we have, as we always know, where is the bank? But when we put it into a indirect question, it's like we're making two questions. Es como poner una pregunta dentro de la otra. Because we start with, could you tell me? And then the question, where the bank is? Entonces, para que se vuelva indirecta, tiene que cambiar la posición del verbo. Entonces, en este caso, el verbo es is. Entonces, ya no es where is the bank. Sino que ponemos primero el subject, que es the bank, y luego el, el verb. Ok. So, everything clear with that? Clear con eso? Yes? Yes. Ok. Good. And the questions we make, as I said, it's for... Uh, like when you're asking information. I don't know if you have ever, have ever happened when you are on the street and you don't know where you are. 
So then you ask a question. Cuando están en algún lugar, I don't know, have you ever been lost sometime? Yes? Yes. Okay. Always. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So when you're lost, for example, uh, to me it happened many times. Um, I, I, I have said it, but I'm from Santa Ana. So when I came here to San Salvador and I start driving in San Salvador, I got lost many, many times. So I got like in the middle of the street and I had to ask and say, excuse me, how can I get to this place? Y ahí estaba en la mitad del tráfico, ahí sin saber a dónde ir. Mire, disculpe, ¿y qué calle va para tal lugar? Oh yeah, you go over here and here you will get to the place. So when we ask, we add that like, uh, excuse me, can you tell me or can you please tell me? And then you make it more polite, all right? And as we have with the, all of the tenses and all of the things we have seen here, we have just no questions and we have WH questions. So we're gonna see some examples for the yes, no questions with the simple present, with the uh, past as simple, with, be, with the verb be, the simple past and the simple present. So the first one is the verb be. And we have the question here, is he Spanish? So the indirect question will be, can you tell me if he is Spanish? When you're making an indirect question for a just no question in the verb be, you will say if, and then the sentence. So, para las just no questions, las indirect just no questions, le vamos a agregar if. Can you tell me if? Do you know if? ¿Se entiende so far? Yes? Yes. Okay, cool. Then we have with the simple past of the verb be, was and where. Was he, was he late for the meeting? Can you tell me if he was late for the meeting? Simple past. Did Amanda call John yesterday? Can you tell me if Amanda called John yesterday? And here is something important that you need to check. If you see with the verb be, we have, we just changed the verbs, right? Cambiamos la posición del verbo y en vez de decir if he is Spanish, we say, tell me if he is Spanish. But with the simple past, quitamos el verbo auxiliar, que es did, y cambiamos el verbo a pasado. And you see here, did Amanda call John yesterday? Can you tell me if Amanda called John yesterday? Ya le quitamos el did y ya queda como una indirect question. And the same thing happens with the simple present. Does David live in London? Can you tell me if David lives in London? Do you remember that rule? ¿Se recuerdan de esa rule de la third person singular for the simple present? Que se le agrega S o ES a los verbos? Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. So that happens when you're making an indirect question. All right. Questions so far with this? Yes? No? No. Okay. So let's move on to this. Let's do the first one. Is John at home? How can we make an indirect question and with is John at home? Any volunteer? Indirect question. Mm -hmm. um, Yolanda, go ahead. Uh, could you tell me uh, if John at if is John at home? Can you so, tell me if? John is at home. Very good. That's correct. Noemi, number two. Am I late? Uh, can you tell me if I am late? Very good. Excellent. Another volunteer. Uh, 
Rafael, go ahead. Um, quiero ver. Oh, who said? Rafael, Luis. Can you tell me? Uh, can you tell me? Uh -huh. Can you tell me if uh, the children uh, does study Chinese? Okay. Uh, is that correct? No. Okay. What's missing there? Oh, can can somebody Ooh. correct it? You tell me if. Uh huh. Tell me if the children study. Do the children study Chinese? No. No. So Dagoberto, can you say it again? Can you if, tell me if, if children if did. study Chinese? One more time. Can you tell me if the children study Chinese? Very good. That's correct. Yeah. Remember that when we do the indirect question, we take the uh, auxiliary verb. Quitamos el verbo auxiliar cuando hacemos una indirect question. Entonces, do, ahí ya no va. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I understand. Very good. Next, number four. Can you tell me if they were in Paris? Excellent. Very good. In number five. You number tell five? me, uh -huh. you tell me if, if work last week. Okay, can you tell me? Uh, could you tell me you worked. if if they worked last week? Okay, if you if you mm -hmm. worked last week. Very good. Can you tell me if you worked last week? Last week. Yes, mm -hmm. that's correct. Good. Now we have the same for the just no questions, but now we have with the wh question. And this is similar. The only difference is that we are not using if anymore. We have with the verb being, why is he unhappy? Can you tell me why is he unhappy? Uh, Crisia, can you read the next one? Can you tell me why, why he is unhappy? Okay, can you read this one? Why uh -huh. was he late for the meeting? Mm -hmm. Can you tell me why he was late for the meeting? Great, thank you. Irving, the next. Why did Amanda call John yesterday? Mm -hmm. Can you tell me why Amanda called John yesterday? Excellent, very good. Uh, let's see, Elvis. The the sir the sir the is, simple present. You tell me where does could you tell me where does Davies live? Mm, no. Read this one and then this one. Okay. Where, uh, read this. Where one. does uh -huh. okay? Where does Davy live? Okay. Could you on, only read? Yes, only read. Okay. Can can you tell me where David lives? Very good. Where David lives. So it's the same thing. Uh, we just change the if and we add the jet the WH question we are using. Okay. Okay. So let's do another example. Let's see, Francisco, number one. Only read the uh, read the, the, the question and then make the indirect question. Could you tell me where is the station? Mm, is that correct? No. Okay. So how is it correct? Can, Can you tell me? Where the, station Where the station is. is. Very good. So 
Can you say it, Francisco? Can you tell me where the station is? Very good. Great Teacher. job. Yes. But you can use, can you tell me or could you tell me, no? Can you tell me? Could you tell me? Do you know? Uh -huh, me? But uh, there is no uh, problem. You can use can or could. No, no, no okay. problem. Mm -hmm. Not a problem. Good. Let's see. Um, Alexander, number two. Uh, indirect. Yes, indirect question. Can you tell me if the cinema closed down? Okay, one more time. Can you tell me if the cinema closed down? Uh, but that's a yes no question. This is a WH question. Can you tell me when the cinema closed down? Closed down? Closed down. Very good. That's correct. Can you say it now, Alexander? Can you tell me when the cinema closed down? Very good. Closed down. Yes. Very good. Great. Excellent. That's good. Uh, Sophia, number three. I'm going to try. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Can you tell me? Um, when? Uh -huh. The next train arrive. Arrive. Ah, uh, arrive. What happened with that, with the, with the arrive? ¿Qué le tenemos que hacer al arrive? Need to add S because the third person. Exactly, right. the third person. The third person, yes. Mm, third person. So it will be, so how will be the number three? Could you tell me when the next train arrives? Arrives, arrives, arrives. yes, arrives. that's correct. Very good. Good. Entonces el das no cuenta no. porque el verbo es arrive. Ya el verbo no cuenta porque ya estamos utilizando, perdón, das el ya no cuenta porque estamos utilizando arrives como tercera persona singular. Sí, verdad. Uh -huh. Quedaría feo. <ríe> Bien. Right. Ivania Number four. Um, can you tell me where you from? Uh, no, number four, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, can you tell me what? Mm -hmm. um, uh, what time we're here? No. Do it again. Try it again. Can you tell me? Uh, what? Uh -huh. what? What time? What time? Yes. What time you here? You? Here? Where? Where? Uh -huh. Where? You where? You where? Here. Okay. Can you tell me what time will you hear? What, no. Can you tell me what time you what were time here? You were here. Very good. Yes. That's correct. And the last one. Who wants to make the last one? Any volunteer? Can you tell, tell me where you from are? You are China? from... Could you tell me where you are from? Exactly. Very good. Can you tell me mm. where you are from? Remember that with the verb be, we just change it. Solo cambiamos. El verbo ya no está acá. It is the question, WH question, subject, and then the verb be. 
WH question, el sujeto, y luego el verb Cuando es una indirect question. So, any questions so far with the indirect questions? Number four, no me queda claro. Okay. So, number four is the same as the verb be. Cambiamos, ponemos primero el sujeto y luego el verbo. So, it will be what time you were here. Es como la primera. You. Es como la primera, like, could you tell me where the station is? Entonces lo mismo acá, solo que en pasado. Could you tell me what time you were here? Uh, entonces tiene que tener sentido la oración también. ¿Verdad? Yep. Yep. Porque here no es verbo y siempre va al final. Y yo pensé que todos los verbos iban al final. En este caso, por ejemplo acá, termina al final porque ya no hay más complemento. Entonces ah. solo se cambia de station y el verbo queda al final porque ya no hay más oración. En cambio acá, se pone el sujeto acá, el verbo, y luego todavía tiene el complemento de here. Entonces por eso queda what okay. time you were here. Entonces es igual a un ejercicio que estaba en la plataforma yep. que yo no entendía. Ah, ok. So now you get it. Yeah, Ahora ya lo entendió. Decía, ya lo entendí. Very good. Gracias. Nice. Sí, porque That's... yo le puse, do you know where a good place to meet friends? Okay. Do you know where a good place to meet friends? Porque lo tenía que transformar. Exactly. Mm -hmm. You have to, to make it and make the trans mm -hmm. translation there. So good. Mm -hmm. So great job, everybody. Uh, we had a uh, last uh, conversation practice, but we're going to leave it for tomorrow. Uh, I will try to look for, for a video uh, where there's any examples, explanations that you may see uh, within the day. I know that you work. So, but if you can see it maybe in your, in your break or in your... Uh, in your lunch so that will be good so you can keep practicing a little bit and well that was the class for today thank you very much everybody to come and to be here uh, as always since day number one i'm pretty happy to hear everybody speaking that's all something that really makes me feel good so i don't know if you have any questions so far about the topics about anything? Questions? No? No. Okay, so make sure to go to the platform, do the exercises. If you have a question with one exercise, please let me know, send me a picture, uh, or send me the example, and I will help you out, okay? Okay. All right, okay. so thank you one more time, and have a good night, and see you tomorrow. Take care. Good night. Bye. Bye. Good night, everybody. Nice to see you tomorrow. Take care.